Hello, I'm Andy Sanderson. This is Ruby, and this morning we're at the HQ of Night Movers to ask an expert. Hello, Wynn. You're director of Night Movers in Llanbedda. We've known each other for quite a few years, and you've even helped me move house once. And I must admit, I was really grateful for your help there. Thanks very much for appearing on Ask an Expert and I can vouch for the fact that you are definitely an expert at moving people from home to home. Thank you very much. The first question that I'd like to ask you to try and help other people move as smoothly as possible is when should you first get in touch with a removals company when you're planning your move? I think the earliest is, is the best point of doing it. You know, when you, you think you've sold your house it's best to ring the office and get um, myself or another assessor to come out and, and quote your move is, is the best way of doing it. Don't leave it right till the last minute like your solicitors advise you to because it could go all pear shape. Now very often I've been um, visiting a house on completion date to go and pick up our sold board or something like that. One time I went round a house locally, it was about half past ten at night, and these people were still trying to unload all these polythene bags and shopping bags out the back of a, a transit van. Uh, obviously the whole thing had got very stressful for them. Can you give us any tips on how to prepare for your move in advance and how to make the big day as smooth as possible? If you want a really smooth move, then you need to use a professional removal company a removal company that has an office with um, landlines where you can speak to a, a, a move coordinator. Um, uh, you know they've got the right vehicles, like you're saying, the experience with the transit van. You know, make sure they've got large vehicles if you've got a lot of stuff. Um, get good comparative quotes, um, and and you can actually research the removal company. There's so many means of researching your removal companies on the internet now through um, consumer surveys that um, uh, removal companies have done and, and just do a bit of intelligence really, get in the gathering, you know, and see what the removal company is like. We arrange property sales to people that are living locally and to some people uh, maybe even in other countries. Can you tell me what sort of area that night movers can cover for people? Night movers will go anywhere basically. <laughs> um, if, if the work's there and, and the quote's good then we will go almost anywhere. Um, like two weeks ago we had a, a large pantechnican lorry in uh, Austria moving somebody from Austria to Bristol and we'd previously moved them from London to Austria. So obviously another happy customer there. Night movers have moved people from Barcelona to Cardiff. Um, obviously we do the UK you know as far as Wick, Inverness the Shetland Islands, I've been to the Shetland Islands, Guernsey, Germany, so anywhere, and even uh, shipping, we can ship items anywhere around the world, we've done China, Australia, New Zealand, America, so it doesn't have just to be Clambedda to Barmouth, it can be anywhere in the world. Wow, that's amazing, yeah. some of the travelling that you must have done. Well, that what makes the job really interesting. I, you know, I love it. I don't, unfortunately, being a director now, I don't go out as much, but you know, that was the, the, um, the enjoyment of the job when I used to go out. You know, I've, I've pretty much been everywhere in the UK. When somebody's uh, packing up in preparation to move, maybe a, a few days before, a week before, or something like that, Whereabouts do you think they can get all their sort of packaging materials from? Um, there's all sorts of um, places where you can get packing materials from. You can go to e. Uh, on, sorry about that. <laughs> Making news. <laughs> do you want to ask that again? Yeah. yeah. Um, when people are preparing to move and trying to pack up in advance of the big day, can you suggest where they can buy packaging materials from? You can source packing materials from pretty much anywhere, from your local grocery shop, uh, eBay, or um, obviously at Night Movers we sell the, the, the removal boxes. It's just you've got to be you know, careful on, on the type of boxes that you use. You know, um, people are still insured with Night Movers even if they pack themselves. But obviously, if they've got um, plastic bags with fragile items in and they get damaged, the insurance company will say to them, basically, you've not had the right packing materials. So, um, you know, we sell double corrugated boxes, which are ideal for uh, moving. And, and 
ideally you need boxes that actually close. The amount of people that I've moved and they've got a box with very fragile items sticking out the top, <laughs> and, you know, you sort of just you've got to be very careful. That's, you know, um, basically they wouldn't be able to claim on the insurance if something got damaged. So a box that closes and, you know, very strong walled box. Quite frequently we see people moving out of one house and they're not able to move into the next property for maybe two or three weeks. Is there any sort of solution that you can offer to providing a stopgap there? Yeah, we've, you know, at Night Movers we've got um, a, a storage facility here. We've got like self-access storage, so if you want it to come in and gain access to it, you have like little cubicles where you can go in and out and get your stuff. We do the traditional containerized storage, which is basically a wooden crate that is designed to go in and out of the lorry and we can come to your house, put the furniture into that box, take it to our warehouse, unload it with a forklift truck and then bring it back to you, um, you know, weeks or months or years later and it's, it stays within that box throughout its journey. So in, in fact, it's only moved once, so there's no, you know, double handling, so it reduces the chances of anything being damaged. I've got one final question for you. What's the biggest thing that you've ever moved? The biggest thing I've ever moved? Oh my God. Um, that's a really difficult one. I've, I've been doing this 21 years now and I've moved all sorts of weird and wonderful things. I've moved a, 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 a plane. <laughs> what, what was the old, the Jindaviks? We moved one of them um, for the Air Cadets in Llanbedda. We've had cars that we can get in and out of our removal vehicles. Um, I've moved the mechanical elephants for somebody. <laughs> Yeah, me thinking this is a stupid question. Uh, well, no, I thought that's what I was saying. I, I just, it, again, it's... Um, You've moved an elephant. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, we've moved all sorts. We just, you know, it's, uh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> I can see the officer's getting pretty busy here now. Thanks very much for talking to us. How can people get in touch with you if they've got any further questions? Um, right, we've got a... a, a, a a, a website at nightmovers.co.uk um, where there's a link there to our uh, email, uh, email telephone and that's pretty much it. It's, it's, it's so easy. That's great. Thanks very much for giving us the opportunity of coming to talk to you and thanks very much for some really good advice as well. You're welcome.